Welcome back. So if you look at the code right here, we this is a very simple folder column is simple. It only has two properties right here. But if you had a lot of properties, it might be better if you had a constructor, right? Uh, again, if you're used to object-oriented languages like Java or C Sharp, you might be used to constructors even. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a constructor. And I'm also going to show you guys where you can find information about how to work with TypeScript if you're still not completely familiar with all the things it can actually do for you. There's actually a, lang a page called typescriptlang.org right here. I'll add it to the description as well, but you can go and actually check that one out. If you go to documentation here and you go down to the handbook and you go down to classes right here, you'll actually see a good piece of information, right? How to make a constructor inside the class. And you'll notice it's exactly the same way we're making constructors inside components right now. So maybe they're a type of class. Not important right now, but there's also a lot of other information like how do you do enums, how do you do generics, how do you do interface, how do you do blah 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 blah. So there's a lot of great stuff in here you can talk about with TypeScript. But let's try and make our first class which is going to be actually the file column. I'm going to make that and have a constructor inside that guy. And then I'll make it for the for the other folder column as well. But I haven't touched the file column yet so that's where I'm going to start. So what do I want to do? Well I want to make a constructor right here. Boom. And I want to make it's so that the constructor can initialize and put in information in these areas right here. So that's the first step. Second step, I need to send something into the constructor, right? And I want my constructor to get a display name. Notice it's exactly the same way that we're doing with, um, with the components, right? So we should be used to this. I also want to pass in a file like this. And then I want it to pass in a URL. That is a string, right? So property name and then also the string, property name and then the type, sorry, property name and then the type. When we have this, we can then say this display name, like this, this display name. So this guy should be equal to the display that I'm getting from the outside, right? I can say this the file should be equal to the file that I'm getting from the outside, like this. This dot URL should be equal to the URL that I'm getting from the outside, sweet. So this is how simple it is to actually create a constructor. Now you could do some other cool things here. You could start validating that if there's no display name, you should explode by adding some checks in here. You can say if display name equals zero, return an error, stuff like that. We could do more, but let's not do it this lesson. We'll get back to that when we start working with unit testing at some point. Sweet. So now we have the constructor right here and we can actually start using it. That pretty much means when I'm creating a file column now, let's try and do that. And we'll do the same for the folder column in a second. I just want to get the file column up and running as well as an actual class. So notice right here, the old way I did it was still to create a stupid old JavaScript object right here. So we're going to instead do like we did last lesson and make a new file column right here. And now I can actually pass in the information like this in the constructor. So I'll say, I'm going to make a new file column. And the first thing I want to pass, pass in is a display name. The second thing is going to be the file, and the third thing is going to be a URL like this. There we go. And that's how I create a file column now. So now it looks a lot like the other object, but I'm just passing the information in to the constructor right now instead of how we did it up here where we're using the property files. So let's go and change this guy now so he also has a constructor. Let's jump into the folder column right here. I'll create a new constructor for that guy as well. And that guy is going to be get information about the display name again, display name, and that's going to be a string. And let's actually use the same name as I used before, so it just says display. It's also going to pass in a main folder right here. Let's just make a main, and that's going to be of the type folder. And now we have a constructor. And then we're going to say display name, this the display name is going to be equal to the display I'm getting from the outside. And we're going to have um, the main, this that main is going to be equal to the main that we're getting from the outside. Right, so again, remember that when I'm using a constructor like this, the display name is this guy, right here, he's going to be equal to the display that I'm getting from the constructor initialization. That's important to remember not to turn these guys around, else you'll, you won't get the effect that you want. Sweet, so now I can also jump back to my code and then we can start actually putting the main folder, this guy, directly in here, comma, and then the folder name as the second part. And then we can actually do something even cooler even cooler right here. Now notice actually complaints right now because I turned these guys around. That's also something I want to show you guys. Notice I put, right now I'm putting the folder first and then I'm putting in the folder name. Hmm, what did I do inside the constructor? Inside the constructor I'm actually putting the, the folder name in first and then the folder. So it'll also kind of make sure that you're not turning these guys around. Let me try and show you something cool. I only need the folder right here. Let me just remove this guy 
In my case, when I'm creating a folder column, I only need the folder inside the constructor. Jumping back here, getting rid of the folder name right here, I'm just passing in the actual folder. Because the cool thing is that when I'm getting a folder inside a folder column, I can actually just use the folder dot name right here. Right, so now the constructor only needs the folder and then it can actually, from that, get the name for the display name. Sweet, let's see if everything's still running. There we go, it seems to be, right? We have a breakpoint right there, we have another breakpoint right there. We can also jump in here and we have a breakpoint again and we can show the picture. So everything's still running perfectly. But now you guys know about constructors and you also know about the TypeScript page where you can go and get a lot of great information about how to use TypeScript. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.